There is some very strange water experiments you can do with frequencies. And oh, wow. You can set it down on plates and make some really cool stuff, too. It all shapes Look out. at that. It's so really the electricity cool. running into the water makes well, it do that spiral? It's sound, really. That's it's not sound. even electricity. Oh, it's sign. Uh, it's sound. Vibration. Like it's, oh. this, this is, the, spout, the spout is connected to a speaker. The speaker is being controlled by an Whoa. oscillation of things. But if you do all the hertz, you can see it. Oh, my God. This is incredible. What is the... Uh, and there are. This is just one experiment for this. There's a lot of other really, really cool ones. There's the ones that run through all the frequencies, and you have these uh, the balanced frequencies, which is. I'm messing up the frequencies right now. I can't remember TBI. I just blame it on TBI. Let me smoke another joint. The uh, it changes shapes, so it goes into like this. Uh, Pet hexagram and all these different shapes yeah, depending different on what patterns. frequency is. So if you change the frequency, the patterns change. Right. And so if it can do that, and then that's why I was talking about prayer and churches and singing. There was a time when a lot of humanity would get together at least once a week and it would sing together and it would pray together. And it, no matter who you're praying to, God or Yahweh or the Creator or the Maker, whoever you want to pray to, if everybody's on the same frequency, everybody's on the same energy mm. and they're giving you all this energy how could that be bad look at this thing yeah this is some weird shit so the ultrasonic waves are causing these objects to levitate so they're letter levitating in the ultrasonic waves is that ice i don't know ex i don't even think it says exactly what they're floating there it's probably just a piece of maybe like rice or a piece of paper or something holy yeah. shit but i've th oh, People speculate this is maybe how uh, the pyramids might have been made yeah. because of the frequencies that yeah. people think they make or m could have made, you know, back what? when they existed in the way they did in their tr original form. And if you think how? about all of... I don't know how. That, that, this is part of, like, that was something Hancock that stuff. And Eddie Griffin said outside the comedy store once, high as fuck, mm -hmm. smoking <laughs> cigarettes going, I don't know pyramids how. were made with sound. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I there's a frequency. That. I remember one of someone's talked about. There's a hum in there. Or there's a, a specific frequency mm. in one of the pyramids. I don't remember. Ah. Well, there's some, something certainly to like the shape of the stone and the fact that it's all going to echo like crazy. And there's that and one pyramid in design. South America. You can yell at it, and it gives you a bird sound back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Th there's that's, something going on with weird. pyramids. We're I wonder a pyramid if, culture. That sound. Have you ever seen that, Jamie? Where the guy stands down at the bottom of, uh, I think it's in Chichen Itza. And he, he makes some yeah. noise. What did he do? Did he yell? I think you can make clap. You can clap. make any noise, loud noise, that it comes back it, as a bird. It sounds weird. It's pretty cool. And that's like the temple of Quetzalcoatl, I think, too. I might have made that up. But that's like their bird. It sounded good. Their crazy uh, bird god. Is it in Chichen Itza? Uh, Chichen Itza echo clap. But if you do the... Look at this. Oh, yeah, this is it. Oh. In that, if you saw how big this pyramid is and how far away this guy is from it, you would realize how crazy that is. If you're listening to this, this just listening to this. This is a simple echo, actually. It's very simple to explain. When you clap in front of a pyramid, I mean, of a, of a slope, the sound will go to, to the top. In this case, a pyramid. You know? And if it's there a, a cavity or a temple, like in this case, the echo come, will come back to you. If you clap in front of an Egyptian pyramid, nothing happens because the sound goes away. But here, the sound comes back. If they amazing. did that on purpose, why it sounds like imagine a bird. if they figured that out on purpose. Imagine if they designed that. If they designed that, we need to figure out what the fuck went wrong. Like, what happened? Something happened to the, yeah. what is it, the driest section? Yeah, younger driest younger impact driest. theory. Yeah. And nobody talks about that. Why don't right. we ever talk about the fact that we were very advanced human beings doing amazing things, the pyramids and mm -hmm. doing this and floating rocks and doing space stuff maybe back in those days. And then it all was destroyed. Now we're rebuilding. Why can't we accept that fact? Well, you know, I think it's civilization has these uh, rises and falls. And we always yeah. want to believe that yeah. we're in the middle of rising and that we're at the highest level that people have ever been. Because we're way higher than anybody that we know of. And when we look back a thousand years from now, yeah, we're way more advanced than them. But when you take into account the younger driest impact theory, you got to get, it gets real confusing. Because really you start going, well, okay, if that did happen, like how smart were people 12,000 years ago? If, if the U.S. 
was really covered, half of it was covered in a mile high sheet of ice. And people were creating these insane structures, yeah. like insane, whether it's the pyramids of Egypt or, I mean, I don't know uh, what year Machu Picchu was made, but yeah. a lot of people date it back a long time ago as well. Yeah. I mean, uh, in that, is Machu Picchu from that era? Like, when do they think Machu Picchu was constructed? But it's another I mean, one of those five, things that just doesn't 000. make yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's so amazing. None of it makes sense. Like, how did yeah. you get these stones here? They're so big and yeah. it's so perfect and yeah. beautiful. And the way they contoured the stone we still to, can't do it. to fit into these yeah. slots, it's incredible. We can't do it. 1450. We still can't. 1450. Really? That seems wrong. There's no way. Oh, what... that might be just one of those things. There's there's one of those things where like uh, archaeologists they'll date a thing. And you know you can't really date stone, so they date whether it's uh, biological material. They have to find like a piece of wood or something, something yeah, that they can yeah. do a carbon dating something thing organic. on. You can't date stones, yeah. so they're probably just kind of guessing. They might be off. And the <laughs> yeah. thing is, like that becomes doctrine with a lot of people. Like the, you know, they found that thing uh, Gobekli Tepe, and that threw a monkey wrench into everything because for sure that's twelve thousand years old. Yeah, for sure. So that means somebody covered it up intentionally yeah. 12,000 years ago. Yeah. That means they could build this stuff 12,000 years ago. Like, how? Yeah. How did they? How were they be able to make these immense stone columns when we think that these people are supposed to be hunter gatherers? They're saying the Sphinx occupied was 1450. Oh, oh that's what that makes sense. And that's what it's just giving me the answer for when I that ask. That makes sense.